it is loud here it's full of cows everywhere but what a beautiful place and what a beautiful morning we have today Something that I really love capturing in these landscapes and something that I'm trying to capture up there right now is the lonely tree against the mountains in the background and the fog is making everything look much, much better. What a beautiful place, what a beautiful place. And as you can see, the conditions are perfect. It's, it's starting to clear up a little bit now, but that's why I came here today, because uh, it was the only day of the week, well, tomorrow maybe again, the, with a forecast, with a cloudy and almost rainy forecast for the foreseeable future. So I decided to, to make the drive here to Asturias, to the Picos de Europa. Uh, it, it had been a while. It's a beautiful place. I always love coming here. Probably worth it always to, to come here and enjoy this, uh, this beautiful place.
I switched to the uh, Super Telephoto, I guess you can call it. It's the 70 to 350. It's an APS-C lens. I'm gonna shoot it in APS-C mode, so that gives me a 525 millimeter equivalent, which is gonna be great to capture the very distant peaks that are looking awesome with this fog that is almost gone. So I'm gonna take advantage of it while it's still here. So I'm still uh, shooting with the uh, telephoto lens. It is uh, incredible what you can find in landscapes like this, in weather like this, when you zoom in. A lens I don't use very often, but when I do, my goodness. If I'm honest, I had doubts this morning about coming up here because I was expecting huge crowds. and I didn't know if I was going to be able to find anything to photograph around uh, here. I thought about maybe staying a little bit lower, you know, in the valleys and photograph the mountains from far away with the clouds and everything. But I'm so glad that I came here instead because there are people, but it's not too bad. The uh, first buses are coming though. So I had to wake up really early. It was 5.30, 5.45 because I spent the night 40 minutes away from here and they uh, closed the road to access this place, to access these lakes at 7.30 in the morning. After that, you have to come by bus or by taxi, I think. I was hoping, and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but I was hoping to, to go on a little hike, uh, at least to, to stretch my legs a little bit because uh, yeah, I spent a lot of uh, time driving yesterday. Here we are. I'm gonna eat this and then, and then yes, I'm gonna do the hike. Should be a couple hours just around the lakes, but that is the future. The present is breakfast. There's a beautiful tiny tree there I'm gonna photograph. There's a cow too, but it doesn't really work in black and white. Very nice.
so peaceful. It's perfect. It's the perfect morning to be here and to go on this hike. The fog makes everything look so beautiful and it's blocking the sun so I don't have to worry about that and the temperature is just perfect. I think it's around 60 degrees. No wind at all and not many hikers, which is very, very nice. <laughs> Halfway there, let's do this. Hey, just a quick interruption because I wanted to thank all of my patrons for their support and for making these trips happen. You know, they are not cheap, even though I slept in the car and I tried to make them as cheap as possible. It's still a lot of gas and it's still a lot of miles on the car. It's thanks to their support that I can be flexible with the kind of content that I can upload here. The algorithm doesn't love these kind of videos because not as many people watch them as they do about cameras and lenses. I'd actually be better off by staying home and talking about a new camera or a new lens. But I love getting out and using them, not just talking about them. If you like these kind of videos, please consider becoming a Patreon, following the link in the description down below. And again, thank you so much to all of you for making this happen. I just woke up from a nap to, to this. You see, even a parking lot can look magical and beautiful in the fog. Getting ready because I want to go. I want to go a little bit more nimble this time because I want to move fast before this fog goes away. And it's also raining a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just grab the uh, 17 to 28, the wide angle lens. That's probably the one that I'm going to be using the most because it's a very dense fog. So it, I want to get really close to the subject just in case I'm going to bring the other one. Look at this tree. Ooh. 
we can capture the tree itself, we will do that, but also we can capture it with the path. I think that's even more interesting. You know, I'm starting to think that it would have been a great idea uh, to bring my raincoat, but I didn't. It's in the car. I'm gonna switch lenses really quick, even though I don't know it's gonna be worth the risk of changing lenses in the rain. I think it was worth it. Well, I think I'm gonna check this out. And then I'm going to start heading back because I've spent the whole day up here and I still have more spots to visit today. There is uh, the little town of Covadonga. I was hoping to photograph it. Whoa, look at this. I think I'm going to try to go down there. Uh, it looks steep, but uh, I can't really tell how much. It's wet, so it might be Slippery. Most definitely. There you go. That's what I saw from up there. Not what I saw, but that is the potential I saw from up there. Because we have the, the weeds on the bottom left of the frame, and then we have the, that. Uh, section of the mountain the only one that is visible right now on the top right so they contrast each other very very well man this is beautiful here there you go now Going up should be easier than going down, I hope. Nice. <clears throat> well, I was not expecting that, but yeah, it's time to, to, to go down to the town of Covadonga. I don't even know 
what kind of photography I'm gonna be able to do there but but you will find out right now That's nice. All right, so the day is coming to an end. I'm here at my office doing some work before going to bed. It's getting darker out there. I'm just staying at a parking lot very close to the town of Covadonga and to the lakes. Um, that's for a reason. It's because there is going to be an addendum to this video. It's not over just yet because I'm going to go back there, up there tomorrow in the morning since I'm here. Uh, and see what I can find tomorrow. Maybe focus on things that I couldn't do today, even though I was looking at some of the images that I made and I'm pretty happy with them. I still have to work on them. You've already seen them, of course, but uh, what a day, what a beautiful place, what a beautiful atmosphere we had today. I don't really know what to expect tomorrow. It says cloudy, it might be foggy, it might not, because it's the mountains, you just never know, but we'll find out. So I was on my way to the uh, Lagos, but then I drove through the town of Copadonga and it's really foggy and it's totally empty. It looks amazing, so I'm gonna look for photographs here. Hopefully not instead, hopefully I still have time to go up there to the lakes again, but... For those who are old like me, I kind of feel like I'm in Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's kind of the same.
Well, my idea was to play with the light, the uh, street lights and the landscape and the church. I don't know if that worked out, but what a beautiful place and I have it all for myself. All right, let's keep going. Let's go to the lakes. It's breakfast time. <laughs> 